Welcome to the video tutorial for doing a gradient problem on a map. We're asked to calculate the gradient between points B and C, label our answers with the correct units, and round to the tenths place. All right, so um, gradient problem here, right? Uh, we got the formula here on page one of the reference table, change in field value divided by distance. All right, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by just copying the formula in here. All right. Change in the field value divided by the distance. Well, the field values themselves are going to be, in this case, we're looking at a contour map and it's given in elevations. So the field values are going to be the elevations. And C, over here, the two points, right, B and C, uh, C is on this 50 meter, right, the, the measured in meters. So C is at 50 meters. And as we head towards the ocean, we're going to be going down by 10 meters per line. So we've got 40, 30, 20, and then 10 by the time we get to B. So I'm going to set up the changes in the field value on the top here. 50 meters over at point C minus the 10 meters we have over at point B. Okay. So the next step here is going to be to <clears throat> take a piece of paper. We're going to line it up between points B and C. We want to get the distance between those two. So I'm going to have to make a mark on my piece of paper at B. Make a mark at C. And... Doo -doo -doo. And now I'm going to bring these marks over to the map scale here. Right? I line this one up with the zero, and I see that the other one's right at two. The unit's going to be in kilometers here. So I got two kilometers between points B and C. Alrighty. Put that in there. And now I can start to simplify this. The 50 minus the 10, well, that's going to give me 40 meters. And it's going to be divided by the two kilometers. Well, 40 divided by 2 gives me 20, exactly 20. But we got to remember that we're rounding to the tenths place. And so in order to hold that tenths place, I'm just going to do 20.0. And now I've got the tenths place there. I can't cancel or combine here with meters over kilometers. So I'm just going to leave it meters over the kilometers. And our answer reads 20.0 meters per kilometer. And that's it. 